Welcome. Well, this is a video that I was hoping to never have to make, but I got an email yesterday at 6.36 p.m., so that would have been April 22nd, 2021, that there was malware that was removed from my QNAP NAS. I actually got three emails right around the same time. So the reason I got these emails is I have the malware remover installed on my QNAP NAS, and I also have notifications set up, so those get emailed to me. And if I go into my malware remover, go to my event logs, If I scroll down here, there are three different items here, and it says remove malware, must restart NAS. And it says remove high risk malware, immediately update the QTS, and all applications that are latest versions and use stronger account passwords. Weak passwords make the system vulnerable to exploits. And it says removed and detected MR2102. So if we look that up, It says remove detected malware. Looks like we're getting the same thing I just saw. So I've been seeing it in the news that there's this malware on the QNAP NAS. So in this video, I'm going to walk through shutting this thing down so hopefully no one can get back into it. I unfortunately have no way to decrypt the drive without paying. I don't know if there's going to be a way to do that. Sometimes they get the key and they can figure that out. So before I get into that, I'll go into my file system or file station and we can see some of the things that have happened here. So we have this readme file. If I open it, it says all of your files are encrypted. It tells you where to go to pay. And then we see these files here say .7z at the end. I guess I can run the malware remover again. We'll see if anything comes up. So I'm assuming this is coming in through the QNAP my link. So if I click the menu on the upper left, or the My QNAP Cloud link, so I can click on My QNAP Cloud link. And on the left side under My QNAP Cloud link, it says Enabled. I'm going to disable this right now. So this should cut off the outside world. Now this stuff is supposed to be all secured, but obviously someone got in through it. So it still says Enabled. Okay, there, it took a second to update. The other thing to do is turn off this auto router configuration where it says enable UPnP port forwarding. I'll turn that off too. I'll hit apply. And if we scroll down, we see these all unchecked now. So there were some nice capabilities with my QNAP Cloud Link. As opposed to this, I can use a VPN to connect to it. That's a more secure way to do it. So I do want to say I mostly use this for development purposes and for testing things. So I don't have a lot of data on here. I didn't really lose anything. That gets me into the next thing is you can run. Okay, so this finished here and I don't see anything that came up. Yeah, so it's cleared. So this has a capability of having snapshots. And when I set this up initially, I set up snapshots, but I had removed the snapshot capability to do some testing. I don't remember what it was, but I'll put a link in the description of my QNAP playlist and you can see how to set up snapshots. Had I still had those set up, I could go into snapshots and roll back to before when the malware was installed on here and before it started encrypting the files. And then what I would want to do is after I rolled back, I'd want to turn off the my QNAP cloud link to make sure someone else can't get back in. But that's only one part of this. Another is backups. So I make lots of different videos on hardware, software, things like that. And I'm always talking about backing up. And this is one of the reasons. So you can have like natural disaster, fire, theft, things like that. But these viruses that come in and they encrypt your files, that's essentially the same as losing your files. So if you want to protect yourself from this malware, I would definitely use snapshots. I would definitely have backups. And the more backups, the better. So that can mean offsite, offline backups, things like that. Another thing that helped was notifications. So I was notified of this. So now I could go in and turn off the my QNAP cloud link to hopefully lock this out. You certainly can just unplug this thing from the network if it's an urgent situation. Had I had more data on this, I might have done that right away. But I don't know what QNAP is going to do to respond to this. This 
I think tarnishes their reputation to have this bad of malware on it. So somehow there must be some kind of exploit that's open on this. So over the next days and weeks, I'm going to be in the app center and I'll be in the control panel too and making sure that I have all the updates and firmware and, and things like that installed to make sure that if there were any holes in the system that they get filled. Now, I don't know if or when I'll feel comfortable enough to turn my QNAP cloud link back on. At this point, I don't trust it. So it's going to stay off for now. So if more information becomes available on this, I may make some future videos on this. But what I would recommend at this point is make sure you install that malware remover, run it, see if you have malware on yours. And if you don't, lock up your system. If you do, lock up your system and then hopefully recover from a backup. In my case, I'm probably going to reinstall the system on here just so I have a fresh system. And when I do that, I'll re-enable snapshots. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.